All right, hey everyone. First off, I want to apologize for the last couple of videos. There's been like this extra footage at the end. I was doing all my editing for the last few videos, or the last two videos anyways, on my laptop. And the video files only, you know, for my last video, it's only like 16 minutes long, which is how long it's supposed to be on my computer. I rewatched the final footage. It's 16 minutes. It's done. But for some reason, it's over 30 for you guys. I don't know what the hell's happening. I don't know what's going on. Something's either not saving. It's not processing correctly. I don't know. But this video, I'm back on camera because I'm done with this voiceover gameplay BS that's uh, apparently screwing up. And I'm editing this on my, my normal computer, which does need some massive editing uh, hardware upgrades. But you know what? We'll deal with that another time. Uh, for now, enjoy this 4K 30 FPS video. Uh, we are going to be talking about Immortal Phoenix Rising. Uh, it's a game that we've known about. It used to be Gods and Monsters. We've, we've, we've had the title change leaked to us for quite some time. But what's really interesting to me about this one and uh, is the gameplay itself. See, I'm really impressed by the gameplay. So impressed that it's almost like it's a Greek mythology Breath of the Wild made by Ubisoft. And... Setting aside any controversy with Ubisoft as a company, uh, this looks like, oh my god, does it look really, really good. Uh, now, we're not going to go over the official trailer. We're not going to go over uh, the little gameplay thing they talked about after where you had the devs on screen and all this. Because I think sometimes when you get everything directly from Ubisoft, there is going to be some bias involved in the coverage. Uh, there's going to be a, a lot of things that you don't uh, get the, the honest truth about from a, a real perspective. Instead, I'm going to go with beat -em ups uh, He put up a 14-minute uh, video today about it because he got to actually go hands-on with the game. Now, this game is coming to Switch. Other platforms as well, but it is coming to Switch. Uh, this footage you're about to see is not from Switch. Uh, they did not give out press uh, copies of individual uh, to individual consoles. It, it, it's a streaming version of the game, so uh, it could look better, could look worse on Switch. We don't know. Uh, so I just want to preface that. And before we get into talking about it as we go piece by piece through the footage, I want to remind you, <laughs> we got two giveaways going on. It's crazy. Go down in the description. We're giving away a Switch Lite. Uh, we're giving away uh, two games of choice as well. Go down in the description. Uh, check out all of the different ways to enter. Subscribing to the channel, liking the video, following on Twitter, all that jazz uh, gets you different entries. Go on Patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Joining for a buck, that gets you 15 entries. All that. We also have a second giveaway for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, we're giving away three copies of that game. There's a Gleam.io link down in the description for that as well. Yeah, six winners. Over $500 worth of crap we're giving away. Pretty insane this month. Uh, so enjoy and good luck. Now let's get into this. Now here you see the the, the footage. A little bit the ways in the beat em ups video. Um, well, we're just gonna we're just gonna give her give her nuts here. Um, <laughs> there, there, there's good old wood. Um, we're we're gonna pause as we go here. So you see some of the gameplay here. Um, there's some things I want to explain in case you you haven't really seen this game or, or watched the Ubisoft forward today. Uh, this here is a stamina meter. Okay. Right here's the stamina meter. This is the main character. Uh, I, I don't know much about the story, so we're not going to dive too deep into the story. I'm going to focus on gameplay because the gameplay is what is selling me on this. Just like Breath of the Wild's gameplay sold me at E3 2016. Um, so you saw you saw some jumping, you saw some wing action because like you're I don't know if you're like a Greek god or or or, or something like that. Uh, but you saw some wing wing action here. Down here you have what what seems to be like a quick a quick uh, menu for uh, doing different uh, spells and stuff. Or, like, not different spells, but, like, different potions. So, like, you know, this one's probably, like, a health potion. Uh, this one's probably a stamina potion. And I'm not sure, like, this is, like, a magic or a, or, or, or what, what all these different potions do. There's also an ability uh, thing over here that's probably tied to the different buttons. I would say the face buttons. Um, where it looks like there's a telekinesis ability. Uh, hello, it's, like, straight out of Breath of the Wild. <laughs> when you see it in action, it's, like, literally straight out of Breath of the Wild. Um, this looks like the wings flight ability. Maybe this is maybe a defensive ability. Uh, we'll see some of these different abilities uh, in action soon. Uh, maybe access these with, with LB. Uh, maybe it's like a, a shift alternator or something like on PC. So let's just keep going here. Um, so, uh, well, by the way, we'll have links in the description, just like he, just like uh, Wood says here, uh, to pre-order this game because I, I, dude, this game is looking good. I think it comes out December third. By the way, it comes out this year. Uh, it's supposed to come out, I think, earlier this year, but you know what? Uh, it's coming out now, so that's or, or, or soonish. Uh, and let me just say, I already have a pre-order in for this game. So again, we'll, we'll probably have an uh, affiliate link for that as well for you guys. All right, Wood. All right, Wood. Let's get let, let, let's get ahead. Let's get into the game. So 
this shot here is so Breath of the Wild-esque to me. Um, literally, you're overlooking the world. Um, it's crazy. Now, this was a demo provided uh, to Wood, and he was paid. So, um, you know, I'm not paid by Ubisoft to react the way that I'm reacting right now. Not to say that, that Wood's uh, doing anything wrong here. It's just uh, Ubisoft. I very much would have loved to have been paid for this one. All right, so let's uh, let's see here. So, um, so you could press down R for far sight, which which is probably like a zoom in ability. And now you're gonna see uh, some flights. So here's some stuff you're gonna see that that's very Ubisoft esque, different from Breath of the Wild in a way. Um, you see like this marker up here uh, that that shows the east west, and then clearly has like oh you're supposed to go over here. That's very Ubisoft like. That's uh, like what they have in Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, a bunch of games. It's kind of a uh, a very Ubisoft, Ubisoft-like thing, um, you know. Go investigate this area. It's 66 meters away. You'll see this in Assassin's Creed games and all that. Uh, so they definitely have that in this game to kind of help you along, to help you. Now it looks like you can go anywhere you want, which is really, really cool. But obviously, they, they have like, hey, you want to advance the story, you want to advance the main quest, go this, go to this direction. You know, a long story begins. You could tell uh, that this is the current quest uh, that you're on, or the main objective that you're on. Uh, but as you're flying here, you'll see you can boost with X, dive with B, and drop with B. Now, you're, it looks like you're limited by your stamina. So when the stamina runs out, you can't fly anymore. Pretty, pretty standard, right? I think you're going to get just here with the stamina. It's for a lot of the physical activities. And it's not the only Ubisoft game to ever have stamina. Uh, but, man, I mean, this game looks so good. All right, let's 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 continue here. Um, so it looks like you also, also have like a Phoenix Companion. I find that Phoenix Companion to be very interesting. Uh, some abilities you use later seem to involve the Phoenix Companion. All right, let's continue here. So you see that he runs out of stamina, and then, like, see? He, he starts gliding back down to the ground, and then he puts his wings away. Or maybe the wings went away because of the stamina. Um, now, you, you can summon his mount. Uh, so, like, in Breath of the Wild, you know, you kind of whistle for your mount. Here, you just kind of magically summon it, which I think is pretty cool. Now, you can heal, it looks like, while you're riding with the D-pad. Again, probably uses up one of these potions. Uh, but it looks like it might be the only ability, or maybe just because he's hurt, it's telling him to heal. You know, kind of a hint system. All right. Uh, you know, you can argue, oh, the hint system makes things too easy. Well, okay. In Zelda games, it goes beep, 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 beep. So, I mean, all right. <laughs> like, every, every game seems to do that kind of thing. All right. So, healed up. Uh, there was a hold to sprint there. If you, if you go back, hold. Uh, let's see here. Summon mount. Tells him to heal. He heals. And then there's a hold to sprint here. Uh, so, you know, move L and then press X to sprint. All right, so you hold down uh, the X button to sprint while, while you're on. So that's kind of the sprint button for your horse. All right, let's continue here. <laughs> Wood doing his little zoom in face thing. Wood, get out of the way. You're blocking the gameplay. It's okay. He, he's making it. So here, this is Breath of the Wild style climbing. Right here is very Breath of the Basically, he, Wood goes on to say you can climb anything and it uses stamina. Um, obviously, once the stamina runs out, you fall. So everything, whether it's sprinting with the horse, flying, or climbing, involves a stamina meter. And it looks like you can grow it. Because you see it was two hours before, now it's three. So it looks like you can grow your stamina as well. Um, so yeah, right now, you know, he's just kind of going through the overworld, uh, showing off the climbing mechanics here that are very Breath of the Wild-esque. Like, you know, very much like Breath of the Wild. Uh, here seems to be an enemy encampment. Now watch, watch the battle sequences here. This is cool. So... Um, <laughs> You know, see destructible environments there. You got to cut some grass and some bushes. Uh, so you see him, see him uh, in in his attack mode. You know, oh, it's like the rocks even got destroyed. That's really cool. So destructible environments. Um, but watch what happens here here uh, with that enemy. So the enemy back here, right? He's gonna fight this Medusa kind of looking enemy. And then watch what happens. The enemy blows up into this giant cyclops. Now I'm not saying the cyclops is hard or difficult. But I think this is just such a really cool thing watching enemies evolve in this game in comparison to, say, Breath of the Wild. I know I'm comparing it a lot to Breath of the Wild because it reminds me so much of it. It's why I'm so psyched. Breath of the Wild is my favorite game of all time. Um, anyways, look like some puzzle elements. Now you're into, like, this bonus extra area um, going along. looks really, really cool. It's like a god area up in the sky or out in the universe or whatever. Um, now, here's the telekinesis ability. I mean, come on. That's straight out of Breath of the Wild. And there's other games that have done it before, though. So that's not... Breath of the Wild isn't the source for all of these ideas. So this is kind of a cool thing. Um, it's for, like, puzzle solving. Uh, you can, like, um, use an ability that turns you uh, kind of into an arrow, where you, like, you shoot an arrow, and then you can kind of move the arrow, arrow around. I guarantee on Switch that'll be motion-controlled. Guarantee there'll be at least a motion-control option for it. Here's a chest. I mean, come on. 
You want you want to talk about the Zelda? You want to talk about the Zelda? I mean, there's a chest. <laughs> um, there's probably gonna be a bunch of them in this game. All right, uh, moving on. Again, lots of games have chests, but I, I think as you're watching this, you could forgive me for being like, dude, this is so Breath of the Wild inspired. And there's nothing wrong with this, by the way. It being Breath of the Wild, no, this I mean, enemy popping out of the ground here. Uh, looks like there's some NPCs fighting it along with you. So that's cool. I like that. I like that. And the enemy goes flying and disappears. Demigods. So I guess you'll probably play a demigod in the game. You guys can find out more technical information about the story and all that uh, elsewhere. This video is not going to be the video for that. Uh, here's, a, here's, here's a classic YouTube ad. Uh, you can find more technical details about the game uh, in terms of the story and all that elsewhere. This video is just going to be talking strictly gameplay. Uh, so we're just going, going along here. Um, <laughs> fighting a minotaur. Like, t you can't tell me that this game is not Breath of the Wild inspired. You can't. You can't tell me that it's not. It's so, like, the enemies are all unique. The combat is definitely unique to this game. Um, but a lot of, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just pumped here. Like, just going through this, you know, about to die. Um, the, 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 I mean, the puzzles, it has very Zelda-like puzzles, block-pushing puzzles. I mean, come on. We know that Zelda was one of the first games of block pushing, block pushing, <laughs> block pushing puzzles. Um, man, he's walking right through that laser. I think he's kind of missing the point. <laughs> he's supposed to use one block to block the laser and then push the other block. Anyway, that's okay. Plus, he could fly over it. Maybe there's a pull mechanic using telekinesis again. One of one of the abilities in the game to to move up, move a heavier item. See, probably didn't even need to move one of those chests over. Could have just moved rocks. Um, so, so this looks like a boss fight here potentially. Yep, clanking automation. Um, there's a cooldown timer on healing, which is good. So you can't just spam the heal button. Um, really cool. Really, I'm very interested to see this this game on Switch this winter, man. That's one of the the up attack abilities there. All right. Um, man, man, this game looks good. This game looks so good, guys. You can't tell me. Like, if you love Breath of the Wild, you can't tell me you're not excited by this. This looks so good. And, of course, we'll have a link down in the description directly to this video from Beat'em Ups. He's a good guy. Uh, so just, just kind of going forward through here, you know, you pick up gear, um, ethereal armor you just picked up. So you get gear you get, and get various uh, item upgrades like that. Uh, there's your little Phoenix companion. Um... <laughs> uh, all right, Wood. All right, Wood. Let's, let's get back to the gameplay. <laughs> um, it's okay. This is just his style of videos. You know, he, he's very front and center. So this is kind of look at the inventory area. So uh, I, one thing I like is obviously it tells you what, what each different armor does. 10, 10 plus damage with a sword, 20, 20 stamina gain on hit with a sword. Uh, it happens at level four, so you kind of level up your armor. Uh, to, let's, let's you look at your weapons and what you got going on here. Sword, axe. Looks like you can, you can equip like a sword, an axe, or or maybe a mace too, um, or a, and a bow, all at once. Those are your three main things. You might even be able to switch up your wings later in the game. Notice how the wings have its own slot. You got your horse. I don't know if that means you have three summons or or, or what this means exactly. You have your item pouch. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what all the gems mean yet, but I mean, this is this is just so cool. And oh, quick save feature. That's nice. So you can save any time. It looks like if you if you go into the menu. Um. So he's kind of messing around, playing playing with the horse. Uh, it looks like so these godly powers. Uh, this is like a as you level and progress through the game, uh, it's kind of like a talent tree. If you ever play like World of Warcraft or uh, you know, pretty much any major RPG uh, like game, because uh, this is like an action adventure RPG game. Uh, you, you'll see like talent trees like this that give you the upgrade your abilities and all that to do different things. Uh, so I, just something really cool. Like th this is the part that like they don't have this in Breath of the Wild, um, and that's okay because Breath of the Wild's not this game, and this game is not Breath of the Wild. Uh, but oh, man, it's so cool. I, this just makes me more excited. So here you get to see like a look at the whole map and the overworld and the sections. So like the game's kind of sectioned off with like a fog of war kind of thing. Uh, you could fast travel. You might even be able to travel in between the sections if you get to the edges. I'm not sure if that if that's a thing that works in this game, if it's fully open world like that or if it's open world in the sections. Um, let's see here. Some more some more gameplay. I mean, you just can't get enough gameplay. Um, 
man, gosh, this game looks good. And if you another reason why I'm using Woods video for this, folks, uh, is I'm gonna sit here and just let the gameplay run for a bit. Is because Ubisoft, uh, whenever I use Ubisoft trailers or Ubisoft footage, uh, it tends to get copyright claimed or copyright strikes even. Uh, one reason why I didn't stream the Ubisoft forward today is because it would have probably got me copyright striked. Every time I stream Ubisoft, I, I get a strike. So Ubisoft doesn't mean for it to happen, but they're always using copyrighted music uh, and things that they have licenses to, but none of us streaming it and reacting to it have licenses to. Um, so... I don't have to worry about that because this, this is a muted video. And, and plus, you know, I don't want you guys getting Wood's opinion on things from my channel. Go to his channel for that. I just want you to see some of this gameplay as we react to it. You know, Lieutenant Brontas, um, a, a chest that you can't, you, so you can't open chests while in combat. So that's different than Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, you can open chests anytime. You can't do that in this in this game. All right, so he's, he's getting this big, big, big brute battle. He's actually taking quite a bit of damage. He's, he's down to, oh, now he's got 11 health push. He must have died at some point, and he died again. <laughs> Wait, did he kill it? Did he kill it and he die at the same time? <laughs> cool. Like, 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 just everything about this game. Like, guys, this it, it just looks so good. Zooming in on the map. I'm not sure if you can mark territories like you can. Maybe you can. Oh, so you can you can upgrade your health potions and stuff. So uh, again, Cauldron of, of Surs lets you uh, upgrade your your health potions and all that. So, again, it's like a, another uh, tree, you know, that you upgrade probably as you level or as you gather materials in the world. Um, this might be one of those famous Ubisoft post outposts, the travel post. So, Zelda has like the, the, the Sheikah Towers, you guys know. Um, the Sheikah Towers are very much a uh, Ubisoft-inspired thing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so an item that despawned down a hill. You're just dropping right into the combat. He, he he's determined to beat this thing that keeps killing him, dude. I I like that these these things do a lot of damage if you don't dodge correctly. Looks a little laggy here, but again, he's on a streaming service. I, although I don't know if I expect battles like this to be running at like a perfect 30 FPS on Switch. We'll have to see how well optimized it is. It's probably using the same engine as uh, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, I I presume. Um, so just kind of. Go, go, going forward here a little bit. I uh, thought he had a little bit more gameplay. All right, he's making references to retail. Yep, yep, he's got more gameplay up here. All right, so, yeah, I'm guys, this, to me, is Breath of the Freaking Wild Greek mythology. I'm, I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm pumped. I am so excited for this game. I don't think you guys understand my hype i can hardly contain it this game will be live streamed on this channel i might even 100 percent this game i have no idea i'm so excited this is like age of calamity is going to lead me right into this just bar none all right anyways you guys let me know what you think about um this game uh, <laughs> i already forgot the name see the name is oh, man immortal phoenix rising let me know what you guys think about immortal phoenix rising probably won't be my last video on this man I'm so excited. We might do, do some deep dives into it later about everything we know about this game. I have a lot of details together. I just wanted to do a reaction uh, to the, the first real gameplay of it since it was called Gods and Monsters. And it looks so much better than it did back then. Uh, so, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rovagins from the Center Prime. And I'll catch you in the next one.